Yeah, it's fancy meeting you yeah. here. How's it going? Not too bad, it's yourself? Going well. Ah, hey. Good man. How are you keeping? Ah, great. What's the way down there? Hi, what's your name? Hi. We go for a wee walk. We as well. <laughs> Champions, Mickey Hart has led a team through minor success, under 21 success, and the biggest success of all on the biggest day. Be involved in the first thrown team to, to win their Ireland. What we've been playing or playing now with the boys that got so close in 95, 96, and then to help them get over the line after so many years. I've been so close, but to be the first, it was just an amazing feeling. I suppose going up the steps in Croke Park and lifting Sam McGuire and just seeing the, 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 the sea of supporters, it was I. just amazing. Yeah. And uh, there are memories that you'll never forget. Cormac passing early that year in March like was, was crazy, like he was our, our captain, he was our leader. He's almost like a manager, just, you know, somebody, that elder sort of statesman who just did everything right. He just commanded that respect that straight away, as soon as he spoke, that was it. I think deep down inside then, going into 2005, it was, we wanted to do it for Cormac. And thankfully we managed to, to achieve that. Paul Clifford Hart, that's a tilt six year on the free of a big route tackle. Two months before Cormac was taken away from us, they told us a bunch of players. They didn't want to be part of a throne team, but only won one in Ireland. Well, Cormac, you now have two. A hugely emotional occasion. Everything's ready. Victory for the outsiders Tyrone would be an unbeatable feeling. We played some of our best football probably in that final. They were going for three in a row, I think, maybe at that stage as well, like, so I sort of didn't want them getting one over us and winning three in a row, like, so it was a wee bit of a motivating factor. Stevie yeah. then mooched in then at half time, Stevie was there. I got mooched in. Uh, uh -huh. He so slipped in good. and he was a wee bit late coming to the party that year, so he was. <laughs> yeah, he took a bit of a break that, that a year. A wee bit of a break, I to recharge the batteries. <laughs> recharge the batteries. Uh -huh. Hughes foiled! It's in the back of the net! And Tyrone are the All Ireland football champions for 2008. Kerry, Golden Years, and all that, like that. I've been watching videos of them, and they were the standard bears of football in Ireland that around that time, and probably still are at the minute. Like so, we just loved the challenge of going to play them. We knew we had to be at our best playing against them because there's many a time we went out and we played against lesser counties and we weren't at our best and we didn't probably give them the respect that they deserved and, and, and they turned us over. So, you know, I, I think it's, you know, the best way to sum it up is that we respected them so much. Looking forward to Sunday, you know, great opportunity for the boys. They've been completely wrote off no matter where you look, whether it be in the public or in the papers or media, completely wrote off. So hopefully that'll galvanise them and, and push them on out. Come Sunday, chance for Throne Boys to, to get one back in Kerrigan with, with, uh, with a victory in Omaha.